Python 2.7 is going away uh, with Mac OS 12.3. This is something that Apple deprecated years and years ago. Deprecated means we are telling you that it will go away at some point in the future, but we aren't taking it away yet. Uh, everyone expected it to be Mac OS 13 coming out, you know, beta in June, presumably release in September. It is now happening in Mac OS 12.3 beta right now release imminently, perhaps. And this is going to break some things for sure. Uh, a lot of developers have relied upon having Python in Mac OS. There is a very good reason for Apple doing this, in my opinion, and I, I, clearly they agree. Uh, many things for which people use Python are built with Python 3 in mind now. Uh, if you were taking a Python class, you would almost certainly want to be running Python 3. The transition from Python 2 to Python 3 was a mess for the Python team. And I don't think they're going to do it again. Like, I don't think there's going to be a transition from three to four or anything like that. But I could be wrong. What do I know? Uh, I'm just a guy with a microphone, a podcast, and I don't even have a website anymore. So, uh, it, but 2.7 is different than three. And 2.7 has been built into Mac OS, basically, I think since it's, you know, inception or some version of Python 2, and now it's 2.7. Uh, and it can be very confusing because you go to the command line and you'll type, you know, Python main.py or something, and then it crashes and you're like, oh, right, I have my Python as Python 3 main.py or whatever. And so Apple decided, yeah, we're causing too many problems by essentially bifurcating this for – we have Python 2.7 for everyone, and then except for the people that actually use Python, they have to install their own and deal with – us, you know, shoveling this legacy thing into their into their laps. We're not going to do that anymore. So that's why they're doing it. However, there are some apps out there that rely on Python because it's a very powerful language. And why wouldn't you? And of course, if you're going to release an app for Mac OS in the past, you if you could get away with using 2.7, you would. And that way you knew that it was there and you didn't have to bundle it with your app or anything like that. Developers will now have to bundle whatever flavor of Python might work for them with their apps, uh, and they will have to do it real fast. So don't be surprised if there are things. I've already gotten emails from there's some this home automation software, Indigo, I want to say, Iridium. Uh, I don't know what the name of it is. It begins with an I. I think it's Indigo. Well, let's call it Indigo. Uh, and they sent out a thing to their mailing list, like, be careful. I, we don't, we aren't, we aren't sure when Apple's going to release this. So we can't tell you that we're going to be ready with our update that patches this. We thought we had a whole lot more time, kind of, you know, those, those types of things. So uh, you may not know what apps these are. Um, hopefully developers will tell us. Uh, but they haven't, Apple hasn't given developers a whole lot of heads up that, like, the end of life is, is happening. Like, it, it, this is a surprise to a lot of us. Um, it's a good surprise in the long run, but... And it's many years overdue, in my opinion, but still, you know, the very end was sudden.